Hello, hello you guys. Welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Erin. If you're returning, thanks for looking at another video. We're getting into my March TBR books I want to read for March. I'm excited for this because I've got a couple different books that I'm quite excited for. Some that have been on like my goal list for the year of what I want to read. I mean, we're only in March, but I feel like March is a bit of a longer month than February, which I didn't read as much in February. Um, but there so I'm hoping no, to get a lot more. Like as far as my uh like I'm a teacher for my school system there's no breaks in March so uh, it's one of those months that can seem really 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 long but uh, hopefully it goes by fast and we'll be having spring break in April but yes so here are going to be the books that I want to possibly read again a TBR is like a prediction it's like uh, what I would or what I want to read but it's not necessarily set in stone there might be other books that I'm like oh that's not interesting or if I go to the library which I haven't had my trip back to the library yet since like early February I've renewed the books I already had because I'm still reading one so I might go to the library and pick up some other books and have more interest in those than the ones I have here from off of my shelf but anyways these are the ones that I'm anticipating to read in February if you like videos like this give this one a thumbs up by the end and subscribe to the channel because I do do these books these videos once a month as well as many other different types of videos here on my channel I love to just keep it uh, a, you know, keep a variety of different topics and things on here I do movie reactions and reviews I do makeup videos and I also talk about book content and within those you can get some variety like I said so yeah subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this and let's go ahead and hop into the all right you guys video. so for February I had like nine books on my TBR which in hindsight maybe not the best decision considering February is the shortest month of the year obviously um, not that it's that much shorter but it, it, I didn't end up reading all of those books so a few have transferred over from my February TBR we'll get to those um, but I didn't want to put all of those books on my March TBR because I wanted to get into some different things this month and I'll circle back around to those books from my February TBR later on in the year but I wanted to start with the book that I'm still currently reading that I really wanted to finish in February but just didn't happen to you and this is the one I'm still reading from my uh, local library this is The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood if you've seen the Hulu series you already know what this is about and of course this is a very very famous book and series so you might already know the premise of this but we're basically following a um it's a futuristic not futuristic not super futuristic but in the future or in some point in time the world has changed drastically um having children is valued above all else because most people are not able to have children and this new republic of gilead has taken upon themselves to create this system of handmaids which they are basically using these women to produce children and a handmaid is assigned to a particular family. So we're following Alfred who is a handmaid in the Republic of Gilead. She may leave the home of the commander and his wife once a day to walk for the food and basically she lies on her back once a month and prays that the commander makes her pregnant. Um, because of the age of declining births, Alfred and other handmaids are valued only if they're ovaries are viable so basically very 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 strange concept but interesting concept and that's something too far off I mean it could happen but yeah so we're following this particular woman as handmade the cover of this one actually which I, I don't like but the cover of this one's actually from the Hulu TV show which I've actually watched the first two seasons of that one or the first season of it I, I don't remember I really really like the show I just ended up not just how it happens to be that you don't watch all the seasons of the show it happens but the show is really really good like I really enjoyed it I enjoyed it so much that I had my I rewatched season one with my mom and sister after I have already watched it so that's how much I really enjoyed it but I've never read the book so I definitely wanted to read it I'm not even halfway into the story I'm on page 30 so still got quite a ways to go and I want to finish this one fairly early in March because I do need to get this back to my local library but yeah already enjoying it and getting into the story it's starting off we're hopping right in and like I said very interesting concept I love a dystopian novel and a dystopian society following a character in a dystopian society so this is right up my alley so hopefully I'll be finishing that in early March and let's hop into some of the All other right, books these I first have here. are just going to be coming right off of my February TBR 
some of the ones I didn't get to. The first one is this manga, Fushigi Yugi. I don't remember if I've read this already, but I've owned it for quite a while, and I've actually seen the anime version of this. But I wanted to read this and possibly reread it if I've read it, I don't remember. But um, I really love the story of this, and of course a manga is something you can sit down and read in like a day or two. They're not very long, it's, you know, mostly pictures, obviously. But um, yeah, so I still wanted to read this one from February and get into it. I own, I think, the first two books, or maybe like the first one in like some random number. But yeah, I definitely wanted to get um, that one read for February. We're basically following this girl who like, goes into a story and she's, um, yeah, she goes into the world of a book and she becomes a priestess of this god and and you know stuff ensues so yeah i've seen a part of the anime i never finished it for some reason even though i really really like it but i wanted to read the manga series to it um the next one is how high we go in the dark this is one of my most anticipated for the year mostly from the cover i don't know by sekoa nagama oh did i say the author of this one fushigi yugi by Wu Yu Watase, Yu Watase. So sorry. And then this one is by Sekon Sekoya Nagamatsu. Sekoya Sekoya Nagamatsu. And uh, this was a sci-fi read. I wanted to do some more fantasy and sci-fi for March. I don't know why. I feel like March is a fantasy sci-fi month for some reason. But yeah, so this one is we're following. Um, we're in the year 2030, as a grieving archaeologist arrives in the Arctic Circle to continue the work of his recently deceased daughter at the ba ba Batagaik Crater, Batagaik, Batagaik, oh my goodness, words, at the Batagaik Crater, that did not sound right, where researchers are studying long buried secrets now revealed in melting permafrost, including the perfectly preserved remains of a girl who appears to have died of an ancient virus. Once released, the Arctic plague will reshape life on Earth for generations to come, quickly traversing the globe, forcing humanity to devise a myriad of moving and inventive ways to embrace the possibility in the face of tragedy. In a theme park designed for terminally ill children, a cynical employee falls in love with a mother desperate to hold desperate to hold on to her infected son. A heartbroken scientist searching for a cure finds a second chance at fatherhood. One of his test subjects, a pig, develops the capacity for human speech, and a widowed painter and her teenage stepdaughter embark on a cosmic quest to locate a new home planet. So we got a lot of stuff going on there. That sounds like a lot of fun. So yes, Arthur right there. Nice. I'm excited for this. I definitely want to get into this one in March. It's not that long it's a pretty short read and I just want to see you know some different elements of sci-fi that I haven't read before and see if I enjoy it there you go another one from my February TBR half sick of shadows this was a uh, book of the month book I got from last year that I just never read it is by Laura Sebastian and it is a pretty thick one let me see yeah 400 pages not that bad but this one is basically like a retelling of the Arthur legend story. Uh, so we're following Arthur and Morgana, but we're also following this character Elaine as well. And we're more following her than anything else. So I'm excited to get into this one and see what it's all about. Um, I think this is a fantasy. Yeah, this is, yeah, basically a myth fantasy type of read. And so I'm definitely wanting to get into this. Like I said, I feel like uh march is like the month for that for some some reason and you will see that uh, some of my other picks are also fantasy or sci-fi related as well as we get into the next one the hobbit one of my goals this year is to start some classic series and i feel like lord of the rings is a given i've also never seen any of the movies so i want to read the books and then react to the movies here on my channel so we're going to start with The Hobbit um, because I believe this is a prequel to The Lord of the Rings or like the story beforehand. So I'm going to be reading this one and then I'm going to hop into The Fellowship of the Ring. I hope that's the right reading order. Let me know down in the comments if I shouldn't start with this one. But I feel like this one is like the perfect one to read. Um, yeah, so it even says on the back if you're interested in The Hobbits, read them about them in The Lord of the Rings. So I do have this one and I also bought The Fellowship of the Rings 
um, at the same time from this uh, website called discountbooks.com so it has a bunch of discounted thrift thrifted books um, I got this one for like three dollars so I'm gonna be reading this one first and then I'll read the fellowship of the rings maybe in April just continue it on so I'm really excited about this because I know a lot of people really really love this series and these characters that are introduced in the Hobbit and the Lord of the Rings series so yeah I'm really in really excited for this we're following Bilbo Baggins in this one as a hobbit who wanted to be left alone in quiet comfort, but the wizard Gandalf came along with a band of homeless dwarves. Soon Bilbo, and I can't read the rest because there's a sticker, but you guys probably know this story. <laughs> Moving right okay. along. I also wanted to get into Brandon Sanderson this month. I've been wanting to read some Brandon Sanderson for quite a while now. I have two of his books. The first one I bought was The Way of Kings. And about that one, I, I don't really know. I just was like, I want to read Brandon Sanderson because I've heard a lot about this Arthur. A lot of people seem to really, really love his work, but I've never even, I had never even heard of him until I got onto book two. But um, I picked that one up first, but that's a really big book. I'm going to have to be like prepared for that. So I decided to go ahead and do this one first. I picked this book up quite a few months ago as well, but this is Mistborn, which is the first in his Mistborn series. Um, and so this is also, this is also really thick. This is 600 some pages, but I feel like with this one, it's probably going to go a little bit faster. I mean, it's not, it's pretty thick, but the other ones like literally like a thousand something pages. So yeah, I'll start with this one. But yeah, so I decided to go ahead and pick this one up in March. Hopefully I will be able to finish it. Like I said, I'm not having too many books on my TBR, so I think I'll be able to get through the majority of them. Depends on what I get interested into the month, of course. Um, and of course, I like to go into my Kindle and just browse and stuff. So that can also take up time. But in this one, we're following, oh, I'll read the back of it. So you kind of get an idea of what this one's about. I believe it's a fantasy. So it's... Um, it says, once a hero arose to save the world, he failed. Ever since, the world has been a wasteland of ash and mist, controlled by the immortal emperor known as the Lord Ruler. But hope, ar uh, but hope survives. A new uprising is forming, one built around the ultimate caper, the cunning of a brilliant criminal mastermind, and the determination of an unlike unlikely, unlikely her heroine, a street urchin who must learn to master the power of a mistborn. Sounds very interesting. Like I said, definitely want to be getting into some fantasy this month. So that's perfect. Then the last book that's on my TBR, and I'll explain this one. Um, definitely wanted to get into a mystery thriller. And for March, my theme for my um, reading journal is, can you guess? Nancy Drew. So I designed this one. I wanted to do something either with Stephen King or something like a mystery thriller. I don't know why when I'm reading mostly fantasy books, but I decided to do Nancy Drew because my sister actually has, I'm trying to encourage my sisters to get back into reading more. And my younger sister um, recently read two of the Nancy Drew books, Drew books. And um, she's not a huge reader, but she really enjoyed them. So I was like, let's do a Nancy Drew spread in March because it's also her birthday month. So this is my spread for March, kind of a, a tribute to my sister as she's getting back into reading. And also this is her birthday month. So as you can see, it's modeled after how an Nancy Drew book looks, um, especially the ones, I have a couple other ones that look more like this one where it had like the yellow border up at the top in the thing, and then had a picture of Nancy doing whatever. And I even have an example pick there and then the title for this month is the mystery of the tbr for march of course following off of how the titles are in the nancy drew series so i'm super excited about this spread it's super cute but to follow that up i wanted to read an nancy drew book for the month of march it just seemed fitting as that was my theme so i picked a random one off my shelf i have a small little collection of nancy drew books I used to love reading the Nancy Drew books when I was younger in middle, in elementary, middle school, um, in high school too as well. It's just a classic book series. And so I definitely wanted to pick up another one um, for this month. And I haven't read any of the Nancy Drew books in, I want to say maybe a couple years. Um, like I said, I do have them on my shelf. So I feel like I've read one maybe within the past like five years as I own them. I'm pretty sure I've read maybe one. 
in clear memory, I, I clearly remember reading one of them. don't remember which one. But I know I haven't read this one because I just recently got this one. So this is The Clue of the Broken Locket. It is book number 11 and the Nancy Drew series is by Carolyn Keene, of course. Um, so yeah, we all know Nancy Drew. She's solving little mysteries and following along with it. Um, and so, yeah very short book it's only 169 pages I don't expect oh 100 and not 169 178 pages so not very big at all definitely um can finish this one fairly quickly but yes that is my March TBR you guys again not a lot of books what six books in total seven books um, but I'm excited to get into these ones. I want to finish all of these, hopefully. And, uh, like I said, March is, seems like a very long month. It's definitely longer than February, obviously. And so I'm hoping to finish all of these books and just have a really good reading month. I'm predicting that I'll at least have two five stars. I'm, because of the way how hyped up Brandy Sanderson is, I'm expecting this to be a five star. I'm expecting it to be a five star and possibly also the handmaid's tell depending on how it goes i'm expecting to be a four or five possibly four or five for these as well um the rest i don't really know i mean nancy drew i don't like the nancy drew books are, are classics and then this one maybe a three to a five i'm expecting it to fall in between in those areas hopefully for the better obviously i don't want to be reading two star books um, and then Fushigi Yoshi, Yugi, I already know I like that story because I've watched the anime, but never know. You never know. Anyways, you guys, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you're anticipating to read for March. Are there any books on your radar or is there anything I should be looking out for? Let me know down in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button and come out to check out more videos coming to you very, very soon on the channel. <laughs> We're going to end the video here, you guys. Stay safe. Adios.